Every week as it takes the floor in the EuroLeague, Lokomotiv Kuban Krasnodar receives extra attention from basketball fans many thousands of kilometers away across the Atlantic Ocean. because Lokomotiv's backcourt this season features two players whose bond was born in Baltimore, Maryland, the city in the United States that both Malcolm Delaney and Dante Draper call home. The whole city is behind us right now. Everybody, you know, just happy that two guys from the inner city can make it on the highest level over here and play together. And I think they're just excited to see uh, what the Baltimore backcourt can do. Putting that backcourt together, however, meant traveling the world until they could be on the same team. Draper has now played in eight countries on two continents. While Delaney, almost five years younger, is on his fourth club and country since turning pro. But it all started for both on the streets of a tough city, where success like theirs is far from guaranteed. Poverty, uh, drugs, crime, you know, everything that goes on in the uh, inner city, you know, in the United States, you know, Baltimore is one of the worst, you know, so it was tough. <laughs> now when I look back on uh, where I came from, it was really, really tough making it out of there. Every basketball player in Baltimore plays with uh, a chip on their shoulder because it's hard to get out of the city. We grew up watching a lot of guys that were great basketball players who got caught up in the streets or, you know, something stupid that put them away from eventually making it to be the great basketball player that it could be. So, you know, it's, it's tough making it out. Draper was a young teenager when some of his friends were coached by Delaney's father. A few years later, he began hearing that Delaney was an up-and-coming guard himself. Later, when Delaney was still in college and Draper already a pro, they worked out together one summer with another Baltimore friend, Carmelo Anthony. They kept in touch going forward until both were making their names in Europe too. I played against him when I was in Croatia his first year out and I kind of sat him down. We talked about like the overseas life and I liked how his mind was. You know, he was focused on getting better and getting to the highest level, and uh, I think he achieved that. He went through all the way from Australia to Madrid, so he kind of motivated me to be a EuroLeague player. I never, I didn't know what EuroLeague was, and when I finally talked to him, he kind of broke it down to me and helped me out with that. So he motivated me to get to a higher level. So when the chance came to play together for the first time this season, neither was about to let such a golden opportunity pass them by. Once this option came up, you know, I thought it would be a great opportunity to play against Malcolm. He in the prime of his career, and I'd like to see him, you know, continue to grow. So I just wanted to come here and just be behind him and just, and just watch the process, because I see where he's hit it, you know, and I, I want to be a part of it. He called me and when he called me, I just had a feeling that he was calling me about coming here. And it was just something that automatically clicked. He wanted to play with me and I wanted to play with him. It could not have worked out any better for Lokomotiv, which had the EuroLeague's third best overall record at the end of January. Delaney is currently the second best scorer and third ranked player overall in the competition, while Draper has posted five personal bests for his 89 game EuroLeague career already this season. Now, when this Baltimore backcourt gets its game on, it's time to pay attention on two sides of the world. Malcolm is the man, so I'm just trying to pick up off of him, you know, see where he goes, and I can just help him throughout the process. It's big for the city, you know, a lot of uh, the old versus the new. Everybody from back home excited, you know, and they know what, what it can be. I've been used to playing point guard all the time, and I never really had a point guard with me that could play uh, the position as well as Draper. So he takes a little bit off my shoulders, and um, now he's helping me be a little bit more versatile. I think us playing together, you know, coming from the same city, we have the same style as far as playing with our heart.